So yeah, this is 50 different hand-painted designs I have made. And also 50 different hand-painted designs you can do as well. Consider this as a haul. But instead of me telling you to give your well-earned money to clothing labels that are destroying the earth, this is actually showing you how many different ways you can customize clothes. How amazing. But before we get into that, hi, my name is Lilith and this is my channel Zigenthaler. Zigenthaler is actually the name of a fashion art label I have based in Melbourne, Australia for now, that revolves around painting on denim, painting on clothes, clothes customization, upcycling, thrifting, and anything sustainable in regards to fashion. So if you're really into that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You will not miss a beat. You will not miss a video. I started this business about three or four years ago, and in that time I've painted a multitude of different designs on different pieces of clothing as well, not just denim jackets. I just recently did a stock take, and I have 50 different hand-painted designs to show you. And I hope that it really inspires you and shows you how easy it is to paint on different items of clothing. There is absolutely no limit to how you can create these designs and what you can paint on. Literally anything you can physically paint on and wear. We've got a lot to get into, so sit down, buckle up, and get inspired. All right, let's go. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm trying to fit 50 items into this video. I'll have different links and videos associated with these items in the description below, all popping up on screens. So make sure you keep a lookout for those. First up, we've got a brown leather jacket with a gothic script written around the torso, a very simple but effective design, especially if you stay within the color palette of the material you're using. Um, custom painting crop tops can be easy as well. I've just put this graffiti tag on the front of one and it makes it look really cool. Then I have this oversized denim jacket that I just absolutely covered in different graffiti bubble styles, something that creates a very unique piece and very colourful piece. Uh, oversized suit jackets seem to be trendy at the moment and I did paint on one. I did this cool word style down the side of the front and then a nice cool arty back piece. Um, if you find yourself a denim jacket with a nice Sherpa collar, I think it's like very 70s, very woodstocky. You can almost paint something that complements that, whether it's psychedelic or 70s inspired. Uh, this is a puffer jacket I painted. I did use normal spray paint on this, but I wanted to experiment with this really cool graffiti drip style. I did pair this with a bra that I painted fangs on. Yes, it is possible to paint on bras. You just need to find the right cotton blend and obviously a bra that's got full fabric coverage. And I also painted a denim skirt just to complete this look for a runway. And as you can see, I've just painted some pink flames. Something simple to make the whole look come together. Next is this camo one piece. There is a lot going on because of this camouflage pattern, but it is still possible to paint something over the top. I went with some really intricate Baroque details, some tigers on the front and some orchids on the back. Uh, this one was a little bit of an experiment, but just goes to show that you can actually bring a lot of elements together. And even though it does look a little bit experimental, it can give off a very sort of avant-garde look, especially depending on how you style it. Next, we've got this beautiful vintage denim jacket and a timeless piece you can always do is a back piece with pop art. Pop art is really cool because it's colorful, it's easy and it's quite striking. And it's also so easy to customize a clutch or a bag, especially if it is big and flat. It's basically just like a canvas that you can put all your things into, just like this one I have right here. Next, I did make this piece out of one of my ex's shirts, but it just goes to show that it is possible to paint on flannelette cotton materials. As you can see, I did do an asymmetrical graffiti design on this one. And going back to the possibilities with bags, I found this bag in the trash. It's 100% Italian leather and I just painted this really cool old school graffiti design around it. And I think it's really cool, especially with this chain detail. It is definitely 100% possible to paint on hoodies. This is the first hoodie I painted. It's this awesome tiger design that wraps around the back. Uh, you just need to make sure that you use paints suitable for lighter fabrics. And then if you've got something like this jacket, which is a beautiful maroon leather jacket, which I thrifted, you can do something simple like sticking with one color like this one. I stuck with gold and just painting outlines or very simple designs rather than having to play around with color. I think it really sort of gels with the very luxurious feel of this jacket and doesn't take away from the material that was used to make this garment. 
If you're looking for something a little bit more colourful and playful, I do have this jacket that was inspired by nautical tattoos or the traditional style tattoos. You can definitely play around with the placement of the tattoos and definitely all the colours and the big bold black outlines used to create this style. Next up is this slip dress that I customised with graffiti tags. This definitely is one of the more difficult clothes pieces to paint on because the fabric is so flimsy and loose and less structured than denim but it's definitely worth it and i also have another brown leather jacket where instead of painting over the seams i actually painted within the panels of the construction of the jacket which gives this really cool patchwork design uh, this is a Jim Beam vintage jacket with beautiful suede details. I tried to ride off the sort of motorcycle vintage vibes I get from this by painting a custom motorcycle chrome lettering on the back. And I think it really complements the jacket a lot. Next is this baggy denim shirt that I painted a line design on. I actually have a video on how I went through the process of painting this. But I definitely feel like it's good to experiment with abstract designs, especially if you want something that's a little bit more dramatic and arty. If you're looking to customise something that's a little bit more dressy, you can definitely custom paint a suit. I would recommend sticking with one or two colours just to keep the look a little bit more refined and put together. So as you can see with this suit, I stuck with metallic paints, silver and gold, and I just painted butterflies on this because I think butterflies are having a little bit of a moment in clothing right now. So this piece definitely is a little bit more classy and trendy at the same time. Another idea for a crop top is not just to paint the front, but you can actually paint around the whole thing. Here I did a fire design that I continue to use in my clothing just because I want to get better and better to the point that it looks like actual fire. And then we also have this band inspired black jacket. It's a jacket inspired by Queens of the Stone Age and I do have a video up that talks about different tips and tricks when trying to paint a jacket inspired by a music group or artist or band. So make sure to check that out. Next up is the second trench we have. This is actually a denim trench coat. Trench coats are so great, especially if they're very long line ones. You've got so much area to paint on and that's why I sort of went all out with this cherry blossom and Godzilla inspired design. Next up we've got a recycled couture dress. Yes, it is possible to paint on more fancier garments like couture. Uh, painting on organza is a little bit hard but if you are committed to the process you can definitely do something like this. I also painted on another couture dress. Um, and this is obviously just a fire design, which looks really cool, especially on the back of the dress. But yeah, don't be limited to just street garments. If you want to create a whole outfit idea, one of the easiest ways you can do that is by painting a two-piece denim set. So you've got these shorts and this cropped vintage jacket that I painted both in the same theme and color, which makes a whole outfit which would be cool for something like a gig or a festival. Next up, we've got the most natural progression away from jeans, and that will be uh, cargo pants or camo pants. As you can see, I've got a nice bright pink pair here, and I did paint some serpents on them. You'll find that cargo pants will have a similar cotton blend to jeans, so it's something a little bit different. But yeah, I've got this awesome serpent design where it wraps around both legs. If you want to venture into painting on shoes, specifically heels, I would definitely recommend trying to find a boot or a wedge heel boot, like these snakeskin boots I have here. I painted an asymmetrical graffiti design on each of them, and because it is a wedge heel, I just had more area to paint on. Next is a pair of jeans where I've painted a cluster of stickers down both sides. This is a part of my painted patch tutorial, and you can find the video on my channel but it's just another way that you can spruce up an old pair of jeans. Going back to painting on shoes, I have this amazing pair of thigh-high black boots, which I've painted hot pink graffiti tags down the side. It's such a simple but effective design and can definitely help spruce up 
a pair of shoes and make a very unique and awesome statement. Next up we've got another hoodie. I painted this hoodie in collaboration with Daria Creative and I have that video on my channel if you'd like to go see. It's obviously a full coverage design but in the theme of the 70s and inspired by Tame Impala and the Grateful Dead. Next up is the 27 Club dress. Uh, and this just goes to show it doesn't matter what type of garment it is you can if it's made out of denim it's probably very easy to paint and this was the first non jacket item that I painted and I think I painted it about two years ago I do have a video up about the whole process and meaning behind this dress so definitely check that out if you would like to know another music inspired piece is this full length jumpsuit inspired by David Bowie this was made from it was sort of like a stretchy denim and I tried Tried to make it work obviously it is a little bit tight which means there was a bit of stretch in the fabric but I was able to paint this whole piece with an amazing design inspired by David Bowie and if you want to see more on how I painted it you can definitely click on the video that I did on my channel next up we've got this core set it is possible to paint on more sort of intimate garments uh, painting on the mesh panels of this was a little bit hard, but overall it was definitely worth it. I think this corset looks so cool. And then we also have another denim garment, which is this pencil midi skirt that I painted magazine letters on. These two pieces go really well together, so I'm very happy with the final result. Uh, next up we've got this little bag which I featured in my first graffiti tutorial and I think it's really cool because it's unique but it's also simple and I use this bag all the time in real life. And next we also have the bag from my painted patch tutorial and I think that a bag like this definitely complements this whole outfit. Next up is the second garment I made out of one of my ex's clothes. Um, and also just goes to show that even if you do have a fabric that is dark and checkered and not very nice you can still complement it somehow and I tried to complement this shirt as much as possible with these beautiful bronze butterflies and a little bit of dark blue detailing. Next up is the first jersey material that I've painted and I made this garment out of a recycled crop top and just did something as simple as just a gothic word across the chest you can literally paint whatever word in whatever style you want i think this is going to be a staple in people's wardrobes so yeah you can mess around with that next up is my painted patch jacket if you want to know how to paint in this style definitely check out my video on how to paint in the painted patch method Next up is one of my favorites. It's the Berlin jacket and goes to show that you can create a really cool garment out of the most chaotic and messiest designs ever. And I also tried to do this on a cap here. These two pieces are pretty unique, but yeah, you can definitely paint on caps or hats of any kind. This one was made of denim, but I'm sure you could do any sort of cotton based material. Uh, next up is this button up shirt, a little bit more on the conservative side when it comes to my designs. I did do a tutorial on how to paint minimal line designs, uh, but yeah, just something a little bit more different. Next up is a very unique piece. This was originally a pair of jeans that I painted on but I recently converted it into this cool off the shoulder crop top shirt. I do have a video on how I did it, but as you can see, I just stuck with one color on this one, which was a hot pink color and just did the outlines of a scorpion on one sleeve. And then down the other sleeve is just some more Gothic script. It's another example of simple but effective designs, especially if you just choose to paint in one color. Then I've got this denim crop top with these little overall fastening straps. Uh, just like the other crop tops, you can do a front design or a design that wraps around. I think especially if you do something like old school graffiti and play around with the color and the shape, you can do a really cool design that just wraps around it. Next is another trench coat. This features a massive dragon on the back. I feel like dragons are just really cool badass creatures and they seem to be in a lot of designs in clothing over the last couple of years so definitely something awesome and cool to have on your clothing if you're not quite sure what to paint next up if you're looking for something that's a little bit more summery and beachy vibes i did actually play around with some tie-dye on this white denim jacket i did an asymmetrical ripple effect and then painted a really massive mandala on the back more of a summery bohemian 
style. And then the last jacket is this jacket I've painted with a bloodhound on the back, which is just another example of, of painting a back piece on a jacket, but also you can see that there are, there are also different ways you can make the jacket more interesting by painting on the collar, by painting on the front, or I even smudged a lot of gold paint around the rips and even painted stuff around the hem of the sleeves. So there really is no limit to what you can do when it comes to painting different details that may not just be a back piece on a jacket. And that is it. <laughs> I hope you weren't overwhelmed by how much stuff I have, but I do hope that it inspires you and I hope that you see a couple of different ideas in there. You don't even necessarily have to do something that I've painted. You could grab a concept from one piece or the placement of another and make it your own. As I said before, there are a lot of videos associated with the different clothes that I've just showed you. So if you didn't see the pop-ups on the screen, you can definitely go down into my the little description box and I will actually have everything listed there and I'm definitely excited to type that out. So yeah, you can just go crazy and fall down the rabbit hole that is clothes customization. If you didn't already at the beginning of the video, do make sure now to subscribe to my channel. You will stay up to date with all of the awesome videos that I will be posting in the future and all the amazing different things that you will be able to do or inspire you to do to your clothes if you if you want to spruce them up or you look at you're looking at throwing them away or if you want me to make a custom for you that is definitely on the cards as well in the meantime i hope you stay inspired happy painting and i will see you in the next video